judge granted the preliminary injunction saying that the California bill likely violates the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, writing, putting aside for the moment the issue of whether the government may shield children from such content and the court does not question that the content is in fact harmful, the court here focuses on the logical conclusion that data and privacy protections intended to shield children from harmful content, if applied to adults, will also shield adults from that same content. <laughs> well, we're starting to hit the wind column really good now. Uh, you know, you've had dealing with the age verification. I mean, we've had the bad news that the UK Parliament passed that um, literally just to censor you on the Internet. That's just literally what it is. It's, it's literally it's become V for Vendetta. If you ever watch that movie. Uh, in the UK when it comes to the internet because they've now taken control of it. Uh, you know, this is the time, the moment for people to start to protest against this. They should have been protesting it before. I know there've been a lot of delays. Why was this passed? This does violate. And if they think that they're going to try to hit us up here in the United States to try to gain control of the internet on there, they, they got a second thing coming to them. You know, we already had the video dealing with Russell Brand. Do catch that out and do catch out the other YouTubers that are ca that are um, covering this particular that particular story on there. But if it isn't Net Choice or the Free Speech Coalition, uh, you know, they, they've been they've been really good hitting out of the park, getting a lot of states to uh, relook at a lot of these age uh, verification laws or age appropriation or. Uh, online set, you know, online uh, protection bill because, okay, I'm going to tell you this straight out. And before, before you start to type, type right into those comment lines, this has nothing, again, this has nothing to do with pornography. They're using it as a red herring to scare you. What they're trying to do and just look at the UK bill is that they're going after you, okay? The citizen. That's what they're coming for. They're coming for your freedom of speech. They're coming after the First Amendment. Remember, this is, you know, the, the, the state that we're about to talk about you has gone after uh, the Second Amendment with the First Amendment. They're trying to use that and other places as well because they, they're trying to wipe out the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. You know, to, so, because if you question something, uh, basically they, they d deem that misinformation. Why can't I question it? Why can't I ask questions? Why can't I talk about this on any social media platform? You know, it, it comes to the point that you have interference from people outside our country, our own country. The UK, for example, when dealing with this particular law and how a court, ju federal judge, has run an injunction blocking this law that is totally unconstitutional. California, you know the crap that's going on in California. People are leaving in droves. The laws that they're just throwing at the state that totally violate the Constitution. See, that's the thing about it is, pe people, you need to realize, sit and listen to some of the people online. And you may disagree with them, but the thing, the warnings have been there. 
The warnings have been there for years. But yet you push them aside, calling them racist, uh, misinformation, you know. And now the new the new thing, what the uh, groups that want to block the, the situation as far as they want to take away your constitutional rights is now they're using sexual allegations against some of us. You know, Russell, a la Russell Brand, a la Tim Ballard. How many more people do you have to realize is that before you realize that there's something really smelly in our government that, that really stinks? And it comes from both sides of the aisle. This is not limited to just the liberals. We have the far right also that are hidden within groups, religious groups like the Catholics, the Mormons, you know, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and many others that have put together groups together. We have a morality and media who, who disguises themselves as a children's protection group. They're not there to protect the children. They're there to censor, censor what they deemed evil. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? This is the thing that's coming. But let's read into this. Court blocks California controversial age-appropriate design Kodak. I love how they keep changing the names of things. A federal judge on Monday issued an injunction blocking the California Attorney General from enforcing the controversial California Age-Appropriate Design Code Act, or CAADCA, which was passed last year after lobbying from a British baroness. Understand, this is the same British baroness who, put to, who helped put together the one in the UK. That's B-Ban Kidron. The US District Judge Beth Friedman stated that the law's commercial speech restrictions likely violate the US Constitution First Amendment Reuters reported. Friedman added that although she was keenly aware of the myriad harms that befall children on the internet, CAA DCA was likely unconstitutional in the form passing unanimously by the state legislator and endorsed by Go Governor Gavin Newsom. This is one of the biggest problems in our country right now is Governor Gavin Newsom. This guy should have been pushed out. How he did not get um, pushed out of California politics, I don't know. I don't know how he did not lose that governor seat. Big trade group uh, Net Choice sued last December to block the CAA DCA, claiming that the law would pressure private companies into becoming roving censors of content that California deems harmful. Understand, you see what they say, the, the law is not directed at pornography. It's content that California deems harmful. Continuing on or face draconian penalties as high as 7,500 per child violation. Now they throw the child in there. They say, oh, it's a child thing. You know, we're protecting the children. They're not protecting the children. As experts have been reporting, California's controversial CAA DCA was drafted and lobbied by British Baroness and filmmaker Bivan Kidron. Kidron lobbying is just one of multiple instances of US anti-porn politics importing British experts to share their opinions on American free speech issues. She is not from the US. She is from overseas. The laws overseas do not is not the same as the United States. Though termed a constitutional monarchy, the UK has no written constitution and no equivalence to the US Bill of Rights, First Amendment, or codified Section 230 protections. This is correct. Why do we have someone that knows nothing of our laws, who thinks they do, is advocating to censor our laws? The California Age Appropriate Design Code Act was patterned after UK's Children Code, a set of regulatory standards divided by Kidron, who also funds the Five Right Children, a uh, Five Rights Foundation, a nonprofit that backed the bill. Uh, one of Five Rights Foundation's goals is to expand the scope of the Federal Children's Online Privacy Protection Act and change the definition of child for online purposes from anyone under 13 to anyone under 18. 
You see what they're doing. And they already do this. When they say that um, the a lot of children are killed by guns, they, they've they added 18 and 19 year olds in there. 18 and 19 year olds are not children. 17, I wouldn't consider 17 year old a child. 16 year old a child. 15, borderline. But you have to understand, a child is under 13. A teenager is over 13. Okay? Big difference. Kidron is a 63-year-old philanthropist and self-appointed, remember that, self-appointed advocate for children's rights in the digital world. She is also a former photographer, film producer, and a director whose UK film feature films called Broom, Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit, and Antonia and Jane. In 1992, she moved to the US where she worked with Miramax Pictures. <laughs> okay, where she worked with Miramax Pictures, Harvey Weinstein, okay? She directed Use People, the sex work documentary, Hookers, Hustlers, Pimps and Their Johns, Shade of Fear, Tu Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar, and the romantic comedy, Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reasoning, so starring Renee Zellweger, Colin Firth, and Hugh Grant. So you see where she's coming from. This is someone who worked with a abuser, Harvey Weinstein. Haven't heard she deny on him. Haven't heard she backed off on him. Meanwhile, she, cl she claims to be a self-appointed advocate for children's rights throughout the world. Okay? We're looking at a perspective that there are those who want to take down the United States. And this is coming from not only the Mideast, not only from Russia, uh, not only from China and then North Korea, we also have enemies in the United Kingdom as well. South Park was right. You saw that South Park episode, uh, which they did like a 24 type situation. Who was the villain in 24? The UK government. Plain and simple. They were, again, they were right. Who is the greatest enemy to the United States? Is the United Kingdom. Right now, it's getting to that situation because they're interfering with our laws. They're sitting there with people that want to change our constitution. And that's outside interference, mind you. This is people outside interference that are getting into our government. That should not be. That should not be at all. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts about this, because this is, in a way, it, this is the win that we wanted, but how long the, we're gonna keep this off, off the books, hopefully long enough. You know, now that, you know, we need to get Utah uh, for that to be shut down as well, and many other states, and to put this in front of the Supreme Court and put a complete halt to these age verification. Because the thing about it is, you must remember, to protect the child comes from the parent at home. Why should the government interfere in what the parents buy for their children, what they're looking on the internet at, and the thing about it is, hey, listen, they're blaming the wrong people. As, as I mentioned in other episodes, you know, they say they're trying to blame Pornhub. Pornhub has its issues. But when you look at Facebook, they have a bigger issue. So does it, and Instagram. You know, all you gotta do is give a run through it. Give a run through X. Give a run through Instagram. You will find a lot of pornography way out in the open. Very easy to get to. But yet, nobody slams upon them completely. But who am I to say but a madman with a shell? Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share this video. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe as it helps us increase the reach of our channel.
Finally, as a content viewer you have the ability to help fund this and many other channels. If you wish to help grow this channel by financial support you have two ways, there are two links below. One link will send you to a direct pay site where you can make a donation. The second link will send you to our gear store where you can purchase t-shirts, mugs and other specialty items, any additional discounts will be listed on the main page. Once again thank you for watching and your support.